In this tutorial, we will only discuss how to validate contact form data at the time of submission by using jQuery Bootstrap validation plugin using Ajax. Here we will not discuss PHP script of sending email because we have already discussed in one of our previous tutorial but you can get complete source code in source code link provided in video description jQuery bootstrap validation is a jQuery plugin for validate bootstrap form in one our video tutorial we will discuss form validation using Parsley JavaScript library. But here we will validate contact form data by using jQuery Bootstrap validation library, which is easy to use and make spam free contact form. Now, let's start discussing this topic. So, this our working folder in which we have one class folder, in which, we have store PHP mailer class, one index.php file, and send.php file. First we have open index.php file, in which we have already load jQuery and bootstrap library. For use jQuery Bootstrap Validation Plugin, here we have also include CDN Library link, which you can find here. Now we have moved to write HTML code for create contract form. First we have write, form tag with attribute ID is equal to simple form, and attribute no validate is equal to no validate. This attribute is for, at the time of form submission, it will not validate form. Under this form, first we have write, input type is equal to text, name, and ID is equal to, contact name, class is equal to form control, and form control long, and in placeholder we have write name. For validate this form field, here we have write required is equal to required, this will add this field required value, if this field has no value, then it will display validation error. For define required field validation message, here we have write, data validation required message attribute, is equal to please enter your name, this message will be display if this field has not value. For display validation error message, here we have define paragraph tag with class, is equal to text danger, and help block class, this plugin will display validation message under this tag. After this, we have write, input type is equal to email, name, and ID is equal to, contact email, class is equal to form control, and form control long, and in placeholder we have write email address. For validate this form field, here we have write required is equal to required, here we have add two validation rules here, first this field value must have value, and it must be a valid email, if is not follow this rules, then it will display validation error. For define required field validation message, here we have write, data validation required message attribute, is equal to please enter your email address, this message will be display if this field has not value. For display validation error message, here we have defined paragraph tag with class, is equal to text danger, and help block class, this plugin will display validation message under this tag. 
Now, we have write, input type is equal to tell, name, and ID is equal to, contact mobile, class is equal to form control, and form control long, and in placeholder we have write phone number. For validate this form field, here we have write required is equal to required, it will add validation rules like, this field must in value. For define required field validation message, here we have write, data validation required message attribute, is equal to please enter your mobile number, this message will be display if this field has no value. After this for validate number, here we have write pattern, this pattern for accept only with 10 digit, if this rules not follow, then it will display validation message. For define validation message, here we have write, data validation pattern message attribute, is equal to 10 digits needed, this message will be display if, mobile number is not in proper format. For display validation error message, here we have define paragraph tag with class, is equal to text danger, and help block class, this plugin will display validation message under this tag. Then after, we have write, text area field, with name, and ID is equal to, contact message, class is equal to form control, and form control long, and in placeholder we have write message. For validate this form field, here we have write required is equal to required, this rules will check, this field value must have value, if is not follow this rules, then it will display validation error. For define required field validation message, here we have write, data validation required message attribute, is equal to please enter a message, this message will be display if this field has not value. For display validation error message, here we have define paragraph tag with class, is equal to text danger, and help block class, this plugin will display validation message under this tag. Below this form field, here we have create one division tag with attribute, id is equal to success, under this, we will display success of, email send failure message. For submit form data, here we have write, button type is equal to submit, id is equal to send button, when we have click on this button, form data will be submitted. Now we have moved to write jQuery code, so here we have write dollar with form id simple form with input field, after this we have again write form id simple form with text area field, with jQuery boost trap validation method. So, this method will initialize this jQuery bootstrap validation plugin, and it will check all input fields, and text area field for validation, of form with id simple form. Under this method, first we have write first option, prevent submit, set to true, it will stop to submit form data. Below this, we have write, submit success callback function, with two argument like dollar form, and event, this function will be called, if all form data has passed, without any validation error. Under this function, 
we can define AJAX request for submit form data for send email, here first we have write event.prevent default method, it will prevent default submit behavior. After this we have write, dollar this is equal to, dollar with button id send button, here we have store all button property, under dollar this variable. Below this, we have write dollar this, with prop method, under this method we have write disable set to true, it will disable submit button. Now we have write, form data variable is equal to dollar, with form id simple form with serialize method, it will convert form data, into url encoded string, and store under form data variable. Below this, we have start write ajax request, in this first we have write, url option set to send.php, it will send ajax request to this file. In second option, we have write, method which has been set to post, here it will use post method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data option, in this option we can define, which data we want to submit to server, so here we have write form data variable, in which we have store form data. Lastly, we have write success callback function, this function has been called is request, completed successfully, and it will receive data from server. Under this function, we have write, division tag with id is equal to success, and under this we have write the success message, this success message will display on web page, if email sent successfully. After this, we want to clear all form fields, so here we have write dollar, with form id simple form, with trigger method, and under this we have write reset, it will reset all form fields. Now we have write, error callback function, this function has been called, if there is no data has been received from server, then this function has been called. Under this function, we have write division tag with id success, with html method, and under this, we have write, this message, this message will be display on error. After this, we want to clear all form fields, so here we have write dollar, with form id simple form, with trigger method, and under this we have write reset, it will reset all form fields. Lastly, in ajax we have write, complete callback function, this function has been called, if ajax request completed. Under this function, we have write, set timeout callback method, this method will be execute code on defined time interval. Under this, we have write, dollar this with prop method, and under this we have write disabled, which has been set to false, it will enable send button, after completing ajax request. Same way, we want to hide success or error message, so here we have write, dollar with division tag, with id success with html method, which has been set to blank, it will hide content of this division tag. Lastly, we have write 5000 in set timeout method, so on every 5 send this block of content will execute. Now, we have check output in browser, here we will not discuss, 
PHP script for send contact form email, you can find source code of send.php file, in source code link which has been provided under this video description. Friends, here we can see that, when page has been load into browser, then on web page we can see contact form on web page, with send button. We have directly, click on send button, after click on button, we can see validation error message has been come below each form field. Now we have enter, John Smith under name, after type in name text box, then that text box validation message has been remove. Now we have type email in email text box, when we have start type email, then it display validation message like email not proper format, after complete type email, then that validation message has been remove, so this validation rule working properly. After we have type text in phone number text box, then it has display validation message like 10 digit, after type digit text but it still display error, because here we have type text. Now we have type 10 digit mobile number, then validation message has been remove, but, when we have type 11 digit then, validation message again visible, below this text box, that means this text box only received 10 digit number only. Lastly we have type message something in message text area field, after start type in message text area field, validation message has been remove, so this validation rules also working properly. So, here all validation has been working properly, now we have click on send button, after click on send button, this button has been disable. After contact form, email has been sent successfully, then on web page we can success message has come, and after 5 seconds success message has been removed automatically, and form data has cleared, and send button also enable for click. So, this way we can use, jQuery form validation plugin, for handle form data or validate form data, with Ajax, and PHP. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.